It's a new month. It's the dawn of a new day, the beginning of a new era. <laughs> Here comes the Paul W. Smith Show. Oh, wow. The stars, the newsmakers, the people who make things happen. For years, we've built a tradition talking to the people you would want to talk to, asking the questions we hope you would want to ask. Well, today, that tradition continues with your host, Paul W. Smith. <laughs> President Barack Obama, good morning, Mr. President. Great to talk to you, Paul. Good morning, Mr. Bush. Earl W., nice to hear your voice again. William Jefferson Clinton, we call him President Bill Clinton. Thank you, Paul W., how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Alan Mulally. We know how much we love you and cherish your, your broadcasting. And I hope that everybody knows that you are going to be inducted into the National Radio Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Paul W. Will you wear a cap and gown? Will they give you, <laughs> will they give you, will they give you a trophy you can raise uh, above your head uh, or something? I, I, I really don't know. Oh, it almost seems like yesterday. I gotta tell you, for a small town kid from Monroe, this is pretty overwhelming. Life was so much easier 20 years ago. Make each and every day count. Each day is a gift. Wow. Well, it is a. Uh, Friday, July 1st, the 183rd day of 2016. Need a tissue there, buddy? No, I'm fine. There are 183 hug? days. I always like hugs. 183 days left in the year. Make each and every day count. Each day is a gift. I've been saying that now for 20 years as of today. And I, I though I kept dropping hints, I didn't think anybody was paying attention. But... Was I ever wrong? Brian and Ann, thank you so much for the hard work on that opening. My, oh, my. Art Volo, who was here 20 years ago this day, uh, videotaping my first day back home at WJR, is here again this morning. He is not 20 years older, amazingly. I, I don't know what he did or how he did it. There's a painting in an attic somewhere. But he remembers that I was coming back home proudly to my radio station that carried my alma mater, University of Michigan. That has changed, of course, over the years. Now we have the fine Spartans of MSU. Uh, and the night that he died, I got a phone call from Mike Feasy, Don Belukas, and Skip Essick, and they asked if I could get out of my contract and come back home to WJR. They hired me that night, in fact. But then there was a whole bunch of things that happened in between, including new owners for the radio station in Philadelphia. The former owner was letting me out of my contract. The new owners, money guys from New York who'd never bought a radio station, said, we're not going to let this guy go. He's making too much money for us. And so a long battle ensued, which uh, took about 11 months. And so it was 11 months after JP died that I finally uh, was able to come on the air here at a radio station that was wildly different than it is today. We were blessed with Steve Courtney some time ago. A number of years we've tried to figure it out, but I, I can never remember. And You mentioned the other day you weren't sure when it was. You probably do know. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I could figure it out, but let me just uh, congratulate you, sir. If, if it wasn't for the flyer in my windshield yesterday morning, I wouldn't have known. <laughs> It was your 20th anniversary. <laughs> but whatever. Mine, too. All of uh, us. It wasn't easy getting those flyers out, either. Just a little gentle reminder. Now, listen to me. That it was my anniversary. Annie was putting together the soiree, and we were all put on various committees, you know, as far as, you know, what to bring. So, you know what? At first, I thought, being the guy I am, how about a little beluga caviar? I Googled it. <laughs> And that's not till 25 years. Sorry. Oh, okay. Beluga is <laughs> to 25 years. So I land and on Swanson, the Swanson cream doesn't cheese. make the uh, Beluga caviar uh, dinners. <laughs> I land on the cream cheese committee. Now, let me tell you something. This is how I feel about you, brother. I could have just gone with original. 
Yeah, I see there but are three no. containers there. Yes, yes. Blueberry and chive and onion. He's oh, gone all wow. out. Wow, this this isn't my retirement. I'm, I need this job for a number of <laughs> Listen, more years. So. I spared no expense, my friend, because you and I are buds. And, and you know what? Management will be happy because I'm not going to expense them. Can I do uh, Ron Humany? Uh, let's do Ron Humany, Starfire Investment Advisors in Southfield, a guy who I've known as long as anybody around the radio station because we went to University of Michigan together and have been friends ever since, and he brings a lot to the table every uh, day at, uh, at this time or earlier. Uh, he's taken financial information and made it fun and even entertaining. Ron, thanks for the work you do. Hey, Paul, thank you, and congratulations on the 20 years. And, you know, you've, you're so well-preserved, but only because the studio's at four degrees below zero at this point. <laughs> it, it works. <laughs> uh, here's a trivia question for you. You know, the S&P 500 is going to start the day at just under 2,100, 2,098.86. What was it 20 years ago today? Oh, boy. No idea. 670.63. So, Paul, on top of everything else you've done for the past 20 years, you have single-handedly more than tripled the S&P 500. And we all owe you a great debt of gratitude for that. It's my pleasure. Thank exactly. you. Exactly. Okay, <laughs> okay uh, 8 to 28, Paul W. Smith here. I have no idea who this is. Uh, good morning to you, Mr. Smith. Yes. <laughs> Oh, well. Wait a second. After six years, I forget. Wait a minute. Dick? Uh, Is this Dick Purton? uh, It might be. See, I haven't heard you on your podcast lately, so I didn't know it was you. What do you mean lately, Paul? You've never heard it. I've never heard your podcast, so I didn't know it was you. (laughs) I hear hear you. I, I, I look forward to hearing you every year on our uh, Salvation Army event that you Absolutely. started and, yep. and the millions of dollars you've raised and kindly handed over to WJR to help continue your legacy. But uh, you told me you don't get up before 9 o'clock in the morning. Well, you know, sometimes I have to get up to go to the bathroom, and I thought, what the heck, I'll call Paul. <laughs> I, d- I don't know that I have time to open a present that Kim just gave me, but I... Oh, isn't that sweet? Nice pictures over the years. Back when I had a mustache, when 20 years ago today, the same man handling the uh, camera, Art Volo, is doing it again. You go on out and make it a great one. Regards, Paul W. Smith.